हेलो एवरीवन हम लोग बैठे हैं आज मनुनी खड़ के किनारे हमारे साथ है सिद्धार्थ जो गंगा की वॉक पे निकले हुए हैं थ्री थाउजेंड किलोमीटर्स ही इज़ बिन वॉकिंग फ्रॉम अ फ्यू मंथ्स सो वी हैव सम टाइम विथ हिम टुडे सो सिद्धार्थ यू कैन टेल अस मोर अबाउट योर सेल्फ व्हाट यू हैव बिन डूइंग तो आई स्टार्टेड वॉकिंग इन जून अलॉन्ग द रिवर फ्राम बे ऑफ बंगाल एंड It's been four months uh, till ec- end of October, and in the 2,000 kilometers that I walked, um, all the assumptions that I'd made earlier uh, kind of turned out to be true on why I am doing the walk in the first place. So, in the whole scenario of uh, environmental work or work related to rivers in our country, we uh, currently lack a lot of data in the public domain, and to adventures like these like the walk along the river uh, we're trying to get young people on board to do more more of these things and using this adventure fill up a gap in the database that is available to the public to use uh, to judge impact that is been created by different kinds of activities so when we talk of data around rivers what do you mean what kind of data do we need how will it be helpful so there are different kinds of i mean there are a lot of experts that are already working in this domain a um, lot of people working specifically with biodiversity a um, lot of people um, working with agriculture and here we are uh, mostly talking about at least starting off with visual data because that's a clear signature of what's happening with the ecosystem that's the first point once we start building upon the visual database collaborating with organizations that have expertise in these fields of biodiversity in the fields of agriculture and see the interrelation between these uh, sectors okay. so if you talk about your personal journey can you tell talk us a bit more about that what led you to this walk so uh, i've been uh, doing a lot of adventures for a while now i mean cycling across india walking across a few states um, i did that in the past but that um clubbed with my background not really background but the amount of information regarding environment and rivers that i had in my mind from the past um including one trek to bomok that i had done when i was a kid in school that left a very huge impact on my mind and i think these things club together and the non availability of information even when i uh, tried looking for this information uh, made me do this the reception at the grassroots level has been amazing mm-hmm. the warmth that uh, people have shown and also the opposite the averseness that people have shown it's been a very huge contrast i mean at some times the balance would tip in the direction of you know being averse to accepting a bearded man so i don't know i i think on a larger picture it's kind of scary how things are turning around uh, there but otherwise people were very uh, welcoming they wanted to interact because they didn't have uh, anyone to listen to their stories so when you get an audience to listen to your stories then you can you share a couple of experiences in the walk what has happened anything that stands out uh, sure so uh, i was somewhere in uttar pradesh when uh, while walking along the river a couple of young guys came on their bicycles uh, riding their bicycles and they started asking me questions you know what are you doing and why are you doing this i explained to them whatever was the scenario within 5 minutes uh, these guys invited me over home and usi dauran unhone call bhi kar diya ghar pe ki hamare sath koi aa raha hai uska khana bana ke ready rakhna mere ko le gaye apne ghar wo उस जगह पे इलेक्ट्रिसिटी नहीं आज भी एंड ये बात मेरे को बहुत ज़्यादा बार याद आती है एवरी टाइम आई ईट वर्ल्ड आई एम रिमाइंडेड ऑफ दैट प्लेस क्योंकि उन्होंने मुझे खाने के साथ रायता दिया था विच वॉज द मोस्ट सार कर्ड आई एट एवर हैड इन माई लाइफ तो आई आज दैम दैट यू नो इज दिस कर्ड वन बैड एंड दे लाइक नो दिस इज एक्चुअली कर्ड फ्रॉम अ मटकी विच इज़ द ट्रेडिशनल वे ऑफ कूलिंग थिंग्स एंड बट दे वर नॉट they were they did not lose hope on things that could be but 
one peculiar thing that comes out of this is that the relationship with the river of the people has reduced drastically because dependence on groundwater has increased a lot and uh, embankments have been constructed on flat plains so the interrelation between the river and people is reducing at a lot of levels so till now what is the state of ganga that you have seen where, where are we uh, i think uh, that picture is pretty clear in front of all of us yeah. in uh, whatever we see as reports and even the national green tribunal has been constantly uh, pointing it out that the efforts that are being said to be uh, said to have taken place in the past couple of years they really haven't fruited much almost similar to what we had for the uh, past 20 years also so people so this is something that i you know it's kind of an essence of what i felt while walking um the people of the plains flood plains hold their faith in the river like very strong faith and that faith is today shaking because of what we've done to the river now when you take away faith from a person there's not a lot left so it's not just us it's not the survival of people who are sitting in cities but people who if not even in terms of resources but in terms of faith rely on the river so and if you talk of vedatam uh, when did that idea come up was it before the walk during the walk yeah the idea about vedatam has existed for a while um and we are trying to work in environmental cultural and social domains these are three main domains we trying to work on uh, the moving upstream series of projects like the walk along the ganga we planning on doing such projects along all rivers in the country and we want more young people to get involved we won't, don't want one person to be doing all of it we want young people to get attached to the ecosystem understand the ecosystem how it exists and make it a constant process so that we can have a dynamic database and that can help us visualize the changes that are happening in the landscape or should i say river scape and formally you know structurally abhi if you look at it to kaam kaise ho raha hai like up the walks are there but if someone as an outsider wants to see like what vedatam is so how is it so if i would put it in a single line okay. vedatam is a research and media organization okay. like we put it so we doing uh, on ground research mm-hmm. uh, we creating media and we using the two mediums uh, to take the message out to a larger group of people but also impactful work i mean not just for the sake of making a documentary on the river okay. but really doing some impactful work trying to get people at the grassroots level at the policy level discussion elevating their uh, problems trying to lobby uh, for their issues and uh, yeah so that's what we want this to be an open platform for others to come and use this uh, we're trying to put in resources it's a bit of a fight so yeah how do you fund this then how do you uh, pull in resources so um, while we uh, we've done a couple of walks in the past in, uh, earlier um, we did one around culture in rajasthan um this is around environment uh, on the ganga and uh, we are uh, doing walks in cities also uh, to uh, understand urban water bodies and ecological services for all of this we crowd funded because obviously we need to prove ourselves at some point now that we've gone out and done substantial work uh, we're hoping to uh, get institutional support and uh, using that institutional support build the structure so that it reaches a larger audience right and yeah moving upstream this walk when do you begin again uh, so yeah i had to pause the walk uh, after 2000 kilometers um, i'll be beginning again in february okay yeah so working upon that uh, raising funds again so that that walk can be completed can people join you for the walk absolutely everyone is uh, you know free and invited to join the walk and uh, all details are available on our uh, website and social media that we have the locations when we're going to be where a tentative obviously because i'm walking and everybody's invited we have had a couple of people join us in the past and from what they've said uh, they were being nice obviously but they loved it okay thank you so much